So I'm just going to be interested in, I'll, I'll do a line just to see what they cover like, because I, I did try these brushes not long ago, and they were quite nice. But I'm going to see the difference between these really and the Chinese brushes. So let's just get rid of these lids for now. The points of them are nothing short of marvellous when they're brand new like that. I was, going to do, I was going to do a few marks from them and just see what they look like with a compared with other brushes that I've used so far. So I'm just going to... Well, see, now with the Chinese brushes, when I tried to take the covering off, the covering didn't want to come off at all. So let's look at, first of all, We'll look at the small one first. I must admit that is a lovely looking brush. I hope that goes down as well as um, as well as it looks. There's a bit of water on that paper. Not here where I'm doing it, but I think that is too much water on it. I think I need to wipe that off a bit. Well, I'm going to do a continue line down here. I think the paper's a bit wet there. I'll do it down here. Do it right down to a... Mm. It's splayed out a little bit there. Get a bit thicker point here, I think. Just see what I can get out of one. One uh, brush from. Just a couple of them. And I write with it. I'm not going to put it here. Oh, that was interesting. Take some of that off of there so it's just on the tip. Still very soft. Neater than the Chinese ones. As you come round here, the surf used to do a bit of brick work. I don't think that'll work. See, it's that pointed 
lines again. It's a nice brush, I do like it. Nicely controlled. I mean, this sort of stuff isn't my cup of tea anyway, but just feeling the brush on the paper. That feels nice. I could see me using that, definitely. I think mean, I preferred this over the Chinese ones because I can feel where the brush is going. So if I just do, just get a bit of dark. See what I had a problem with before was, say like this outside mark here, when I did it with Chinese brush, I couldn't actually feel where the brush was, so I'm just gonna see if I can. Follow the line, oh, I missed there, but no, nope, it must be me then. It's not the uh, brush. It's never the brush, we always think it's the brush, don't we? I just like the way it, it's, I like the way it goes, it feels on the paper. Nice. Where's a bit of water? Where she washes stuff? Just like the way I can feel where it's going. Nice. Compared that with my. This feels. This is short haired, smaller, but this feels like this would go much, much, much further holding the water. And yet the hairs don't look as big. There looks much volume on hair of that than it does on that. Water's um, through your eye on there now. Anyway, first impressions, I like that. Well, that is that's definitely going in my my paint. That my my uh, brushes pot. Oh, so this feels huge. Oh, matron. <clears throat> So, a different colour. I'll have a washy washy first. That holds a lot. So soft.
I mean, that, that is just as fine as that. This is interesting when you go around the S, around there, and then you come back around there, how this breaks out there. So that's obviously good for some sort of flowery stuff, I suppose. So you'd have to go up there and pour it down. I don't know which way around that would go. Because I quite like the, this effect as it comes around there. I don't know where you would use that. Some bit around here. For this sort of thing. That sort of thing here would probably be useful for something, I don't know what, not my style, but other people's probably. Yeah, let's get another bit of paper and try the big one out. So there I've picked up some Hooker's Green and Indigo, which is going to be a bit like a sea colour, you would think. Well, that to me is not as smooth as the Chinese as the Chinese brush. Looks nice and flat. Definitely not as smooth as the Chinese one. I really don't think I'm going to be able to write my name with this one. Look at the size of that thing. It's a monster, isn't it? Well, I did, but this definitely seems to be geared up more for this big washy stuff. Let's do a continual line down. No effort at all doing that. Three maybe. Right, so this I need to be thinner for that. This feels like I've got so that much loaded with paint, nothing in this lot. I think the trouble is with it, but when you get them this big, if you're only doing little bits and pieces, you don't really want to waste all of your paint and fill it right up, because you're only going to end up wiping it off and rubbing it out. So... That didn't feel very nice at all. Didn't like that. It feels like there's mostly water on it. Let's get some blobs. No, it doesn't want to blob much. Take most of that water off. Well, it still feels like there's plenty of water in it. Ugh, can't move it at all. No, can't move that. No, it's not, not spreading at all. That's going to be hard work. 
Maybe I'm going to wait enough. No, I don't think it's going to be any good for me. No, no good whatsoever. Don't know that. Don't know that at all. Not for that. One of my um, aims is to actually get better. You know, I've painted for about four years. Never, never once painted a flower. I'm not painting a flower. Now, I, I want to. I'm just no good at it. I thought you should put a little bit of up around the edge. I'll put the room out a little bit, maybe. Do I put a bit in there? Maybe a bit more watery bit. Trying to go down here somewhere. Oh, it doesn't matter if it makes it messes up. It's not exactly going to be a show when it peas, is it? But for small stuff, I'll tell you what I might be able to do with that, I'm quite liking this. God, that is a shocking flower, isn't it? It's almost laughable how bad that is. Dear oh dear. I'm sure people are going to buy that. I'm going to give it away. So chuck a bit of a thingy down here just to finish it off. Right, so fine lines are dried. Right. I reckon brickwork will be alright with this. That probably need to be thickened up a bit though. Tell you what, let's do here. I don't want to damage it. That's what it got sprayed out. You might get some fur maybe. No, it's too thick. Glasses. Not too bad grasses, I suppose. What happens if you dot it? What would that give you? All seems to go at the right. No, not that. And then go back to a point. Looks like it might. Some sort of watery, maybe. Sort 
So all in all, I like the little one. Not too keen on the other two. Anyway, so all in all for me, I... Bearing in mind I'm only working on small bits of paper, which might be why I like this one. That one started to be getting a bit too big, and this was way too big for what I'm working on. But with a, as I say, with bigger paper, you may well find that this is the one for you, or that one. Anyway, I hope that's useful. See you on that one soon. Cheers.